Assalamu alaikum. I really want to cement the fact that the primary false god of the Jews are their own rabbis, their own sages. Of course, there are many ways through which they commit shirk or idolatry, the act of associating partners with God, but the primary false god of theirs are their rabbis. So we've looked at some narrations on this channel recently and even before, um, and uh, I'll be looking at a few more. So we'll start in this video by speaking about the uh, claim in the Talmud that the sages are actually divinely inspired and uh, that they are even better than the prophets. And then in some other videos, we'll look at some other narrations. So here, Bava Betra 12a in the Talmud, the Gemara reports that the ra that a certain rabbi says, uh, from the day that the temple was destroyed, prophecy was taken from the prophets and given to the sages. So prophecy, yeah, revelation, it's taken from the prophets and now it's given to the sages, so the rabbis, the old rabbis. The Gemara expresses astonishment. Is that to say that a sage is not fit to be a prophet? Rabbi Evdimi seems to say that there are two distinct categories of people. The Gemara explains this is what Rabbi Evdimi is saying. Even though prophecy was taken from the prophets, it was not taken from the sages. So the sages are divinely inspired. They receive prophecy from God. They receive revelation. So they're essentially prophets. Uh, in that they receive revelation. This is the first claim they're making. And so the question is, how do you know? The temple was destroyed when? At the, it was destroyed um, when Esau, or Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, he was raised up to heaven. You haven't had a prophet come and inform you that from now on the sages are receiving revelation. Not even Jesus said that, and you don't even accept him in the first place. The prophet you had after him was Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You accept him? No. Did he ever say the sages receive revelation? No. What prophet told you this? You're just making it up. As, uh, and Allah said in the Quran, قُلْ إِنَّمَا حَرَّمَ رَبِّي Say, my Lord has forbidden. And then there are many things are mentioned. And here it's mentioned, وَأَن تُشْرِكُوا بِاللَّهِ مَا لَمْ يُنَزِّلْ بِهِ سُلْطَانًا وَأَن تَقُولُوا أَرَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ So among the forbidden things are that you associate a partner with God about which he has not sent down any authority. So he's not sent down any authority allowing you to take a partner with him. وَأَن تَقُولُوا أَرَى اللَّهِ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ And that you say about God that which you do not know. So here's the first problem. They're speaking about God. They're saying they receive revelation. And they have no knowledge of it. Where do you get it from? You're making lies about God. And then it gets, let's see, uh, and a sage is greater than a prophet. So um, this guy is here saying, and a sage is greater than a prophet, as it is stated, and a prophet has a heart of wisdom. Look at Psalm 90, 12 that they just quoted, and a prophet has a hard heart of wisdom, and a prophet has a heart of wisdom. How is this saying that sages are better than prophets? Where do you get this? So, uh, in their explanation, they're here saying he, i.e., he is wise. When comparisons are drawn, who is compared to whom? You must say that the lesser is compared to the greater. Here too, prophecy is compared to wisdom, thus indicating that wisdom is greater than prophecy. What? That's not what the verse is saying. And their conclusion from all this terrible argument, all this terrible arguing, which is a lot of the Talmud, terrible arguing, to come up with their fake conclusions, the conclusion is, and a sage is greater than a prophet. And so essentially what these sages are doing by claiming to receive revelation without any proof, there is no proof they're getting revelation, not even in the Bible. Uh, what they're doing essentially is putting themselves in the position of God. So now whatever they say, that's coming from God. So disobeying the sages is like disobeying God because they're claiming that whatever they're saying is revelation. It's coming from God um, when they have no such proof for these claims, they're just fabricating lies about God. And even the evidence that they give that they're greater than prophets, the verse doesn't say anything like that. They're simply lying. As Allah mentioned in the Quran regarding Jews and Christians. Subhanahu amma yushrikun. They've taken their scholars and monks as lords besides Allah. And also they've taken the Messiah, the son of Maryam. And they were not commanded except to worship one God. There is no God worthy of worship except to him. Exalted is he above whatever they associate with him. So they're associating and essentially turning the rabbis and their scholars into uh, uh, lords besides Allah. 
and also the Christians, they took the Messiah to be another Lord. Uh, some Christians think that because it says, and the Messiah is going to marry, that means the Messiah must be taken as a Lord. This is an Arabic thing. I've explained it in previous videos. I'm not going to explain it again. It's an Arabic way to phrase it. It means they've taken the scholars and monks as lords besides God, and they've also taken the Messiah, the son of Miriam, as a lord besides God. The same technique is used in third quote unquote verse or uh, Surah 9, Ayah 3. I uh, quote unquote verse, it doesn't actually mean verse, it means sign, but uh, yeah, so the same technique is used there. So, again, they're, they're saying they receive revelation, and Allah mentioned in the Quran, uh, what well, you know, again, they have no, no evidence for this. So, Allah mentions, وَمَنْ قَالَ سَأُنزِلُ مِثْلَ مَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي غَمَرَاتِ الْمَوْتِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ بَاسِطُو أَيْدِيهِمْ أَخْرِجُوا أَنفُسَكُمُ الْيَوْمَ تُجْزَوْنَ عَذَابَ الْهُونِ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ بما كنتم تقولون على الله غير الحق وكنتم وكنتم عن آياته عن آياته تستكبرون. For who is more unjust than someone who has fabricated lies against Allah or said it was revealed to me when nothing had been revealed to him and someone who said I will send down the like of what Allah has sent down and if only you could see the unjust ones in the perplexities of death as the angels stretch their hands get yourselves out today you are being repaid with the punishment of shame on account of what you used to say about Allah other than the truth and for acting arrogantly towards his signs <laughs>